Good morning, here again with Kyle Winters, and today we're talking about grammar. So, buenos dias, estoy aquí con Kyle Winters, en este momento uh, hablamos cosas grammática. So, un ejemplo, we'll say present, perfect, presente perfecto. ¿Cuál uso esto? ¿Cuándo uso esto? ¿Por qué uso esto? ¿Necesito uso esto? No quiero uso esto. So what do you want to do? So when using present perfect, present perfect is a time expression describing recent events, uncompleted or uh, not completed events, and your entire life experience. So today we're just talking about recent events in the basic structure. So hoy es solo estructura básica y uh, eventos recientes. Present perfect, those verbals, auxiliar or verbal, have, has. Estos no es por tener. Estos por describe presente perfecto en tiempo. So, un ejemplo. Have I, have you, have we, have they. Has he, she is. These are your forms. We'll try to give a little more space. I'm not going to record again. So, first example that we're going to talk about. So for me, I have eaten breakfast today. Ese es de yo soy presente. Porque hoy no es completar. So este uso es por expression de tiempo. The action pasado tiene conexión con este momento de tiempo. I have eaten breakfast today. Otro. He has lived in pasto. For two years. So we say, Yo he comido, comido, uh, desayuno. El uh, vivido, ha uh, vivido en pasto para dos años. Disculpe, mi uh, español no es siempre correcto, pero más o menos es esto. Es mismo presente perfecto para el español. He has lived in Pasto for two years. I have eaten breakfast today. So at this moment, tiene los verbos y estructura. So siempre con subjecto. Subjecto pronombre. Este es su complemento. So, cuando es affirmativo, negativo, pregunta, siempre uso dos verbos. So, this is going to be positive. Su verbal auxiliary verb, have, has, auxiliary verb. Su verbal principal, in uh, past participle. So, we're going to say verb, past, participle. So, eaten, lived. Verbals regular, so the cambio, a day. I have eaten breakfast today. He has lived in pasta for two years. Negative. I haven't called my friend. And we can say yet, for aún, or también, yo no he hecho esa acción hoy. Yo no. Uh, I haven't called my friend today. She hasn't 
lived. We're going to say that she hasn't paid bugger. Her light bill. We're going to say this month. So, ella no uh, pagado de servicio de luz este mes. Mismo cosa de arriba. Sujeto, complemento. And I ask again. Your subject, your complement. Your auxiliary verb, su verbo principal, con past parts. Pregunta. Oh, estos have not, hasn't. Disculpe. So, tiene is have, has. So, we're going to say have not, has not. I need to include that. So, estos contractions haven't, have not. Hasn't, has not. So, we're going to continue. Questions. Have you? And we'll start with capital letter. Have you what? Have you studied for the test? So, este es un pregunta por una acción en pasado. Tiene conexión con este momento. Have you studied for the test? Respuesta corta. Yes, I have. Or también, negativo, no, I haven't. Yes, I have, no, I haven't. Say, have you eaten lunch? Today, this week, uh, today, one. Have you eaten lunch? Not on us. Yes, I have, no, I have. Uh, can you? We'll say, has she eaten lunch? Yes, she has. Alright, I'm going to slow down this passage. Yes, she has. Or también, no, she hasn't. Okay. So, este momento tiene instructor. We're going to talk about structure again. Su auxiliary. Todos formas uso have hasn't. Su verbo and past participle. Estos todos past participle. Su sujeto y su complemento. So esta pregunta si you no know, una más pregunta con interrogative. Pregunta más frecuente con esto. We're going to have those, those examples. What have you done today? Today, no. Ultra close. What have you done this week? Ultra. How long? How long have you. Okay. Have you lived in Colombia? For preguntas. What have you done this week? How long have you lived in Colombia? Uh, we're going to say, I have. I have taught English. We can say this week, or just that. How long have you lived in Colombia? I have, I have lived. Another, another answer. I have been here in Colombia for four and a half years. So we're going to say four, four years. Not months. We're going to put these in lowercase for four years. Mismo structura. Have, has. 
Sargentos. Sus verbos, todos los verbos en esta forma. Pasada parte seguro. Ok, so I hope this video helped. Um, if you have any questions, put a comment down below. If you want to see more tutorials like this, let me know. Uh, gracias por su atención. Si tiene más preguntas, ponen un mensaje abajo. Gustar, compartir, suscribe, si quieres. Más videos de esto, pregúntame. Ok, so, have a good afternoon and take care.